Hello class, my name is Uche Martins. Welcome to Basic Science and Technology class. Today we'll be treating the topic Gears Part 1 with the theme Tools, Machines and Processes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain what gears are, identify the various classes and types of gears. Let's take a brief description of what gears are. What are gears? Gears are important aspects of most tools and machines. Gears are wheels with feet, tooted wheels that interlock and move together. Now, these are examples of gears. Now, you can see that it is made up of tooted wheels interlocking together as they move together. Gears also connect and rotate and are used to transmit power from one part of the machine to another. When we say gears are used in transmitting power to different parts of the machines, we mean that they are used to transfer power from one part to another in that machine. Apart from power, gears are also used to transmit torque and speed. Torque is a turning force that is referred to as force times perpendicular distance in a turning moment. Its SI unit is Newton meter. Gears are found in cars, watch engines, motorcycles, bikes, etc. For example, the gears of a bicycle with the help of a chain take power from the pedals, this is the pedal of the bicycle, back to the wheel. You can see that bicycles make use of gears in transmitting power from the pedals of the bicycle to the wheel. What is a gear trail? When we have two or more gears working together in a sequence arrangement. It is called gear tree or gear transmission. You can see this diagram shows two or more gears that are arranged in sequence working together. This is a good example of a gear tree because they are working together in a sequence arrangement. Gears and racks. We know that gears can be made up of two or more rotating parts. Also, these gears can be a machine made up of connected non-rotating parts called a rack. So, these non-rotating parts in a gear is what we call a rack. When a gear connects with non-rotating tooted parts, a translational motion is produced. For us to understand gear properly, we have to understand some terms associated with gear. For us to understand the operations of gears, we must be able to familiarize ourselves with some terms associated with gears. These terms include revolution per minute, number of gear teeth, frequency of rotation. What do we understand by revolution per minute? The revolution per minute of a gear is simply defined as the number of times the tooted wheel of a gear rotates or revolves per minute. It can be used to determine the frequency of rotation of a gear. The revolution per minute of a gear is represented by ROPM or rev per minute. So when you see an expression of 20 ROPM, it is simply telling you that the gear has revolved 20 times per minute. What is frequency of rotation? Like we said earlier that 
your revolution per minute can also be used to determine your frequency of rotation. Now, the frequency of rotation of a gear is the frequency at which the gear completes one revolution or cycle. So, the time it takes a gear to complete one revolution or one complete cycle, we refer to that as the frequency of rotation of that gear. The SI unit is hence, represented with the capital letter H and Z. Now, number of teeth. The number of teeth is represented with the symbol N. It is simply the number of cut edges or teeth a gear has. You can see these are the cut edges of the gear. So counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We can say that gear B has 20 teeth. And the number of teeth is represented as N. Types of gears. There are three major classes of gears according to the positioning of their axes. So when the axes are placed parallel to each other, they are referred to as your parallel axis gear. When the axes of this gear are intersecting with one another, it is referred to as your intersecting axis gear. Also, there are also gears that their axes are not placed parallel to each other. We refer to those gears as non-parallel axis gears. And when they are not intersecting with one another, we refer to them as non-intersecting axis gears. Okay, let's look at some examples or types of gears that fall into these various classes of gears that we earlier mentioned. We have different types of gears which are used for different purposes. Some gears with parallel and intersecting axis are, one, we have our spore gears, we have our bevel gears, we have our helical gears, we have our spiral bevel gears, we have our zero bevel gears, and we have our double helical gears, or also called hairy bone gears. Spore gears. Spore gears are the most common types of gears used for transmitting power at low speed. What we are trying to say is that Spore gears are used for transmitting power to other parts of the machines at a very low speed. That means they rotate about their axis at a very low velocity. They consist of straight teeth gear wheels. You can see from this diagram that it consists of straight teeth gear wheels. That is, their teeth are caught in a straight pattern. And these wheels are placed parallel to each other across the rotating axis of the gear. Looking at these gears, you can see they are placed parallel to each other. This is a typical description of a spore gear. Spore gears, because of how they rotate above their axis at a very low speed, they produce more vibration and noise than any other type of gears. They are more economical than other types because they can be easily designed. Bevel gears. Bevel gears are gears whose tooted wheels are placed at right angle, that is 90 degree, to each other. They are used to transmit power perpendicularly. Note, aside from power, they can also be used to transmit or torque. Now, you can see that the tooted wheels of this gear, they are placed at right angle to each other, which is used in transmitting power perpendicularly. They consist of straight teeth. You can see it. 
caught in a conical blank rather than a cylindrical blank. What they mean by bevel gears are caught in a conical blank is this. Most gears are caught in a cylindrical form, but for bevel gears, you can see they are made in a conical shape. You can see from the shape of this gear is in the form of a cone. Let's look at another type of gears called spiral bevel gears. Spiral bevel gears is a type of bevel gear that has helical form of teeth caught on a conical blank. They are placed at right angle to each other, just as every bevel gear is. You can see for an ordinary bevel gear, the teeth of the gear is straight, but for helical gear, it is in a helical form, in a helix shape. You can see how slightly curved it is. It is not as straight as an ordinary bevel gear, so it is in a spiral form. zero bevel gear. It is also a type of a bevel gear with curved straight teeth. The spiral angle is zero at the middle of the face weight. They are an intermediate type between straight and spiral bevel gears. Their teeth are curved but not angled. You can see that the shape of the teeth is in between spiral bevel and ordinary bevel gear, but they are also placed at right angle to each other and they transmit power or torque perpendicularly. Let's look at another type of gear called hairy bone gears. Hairy bone gears are gears also called double helical gears which transmit power when positioned side by side to each other. They are also called double helical gears. You can see they are positioned side by side to each other. Let's take a brief summary of what we've learned so far. Gears are machines made up of connected rotating parts used for transmitting power. Also, we measure that when two or more gears work together in a sequence arrangement, it is called gear train or gear transmission. And we look at some of the terms associated with gears. Some terms associated with gear operation include your revolution per minute, number of gear teeth, and also the frequency of rotation. We have different types of gears, which include a spore gear, bevel gear, helical gear, etc. Let's take some questions. Question one. When two or more gears work together in a sequence arrangement, it is called A, gear sequence, B, gear arrangement, C, gear train, D, gear translation. The correct option is C, gear train. Question two. Dash is a gear placed at right angle to each other and that also transmits power perpendicularly, but its teeth are caught on conical blank. A, bevel gear. B, spore gear. C, helical. D, cross helical. The correct option is A, bevel gear. We have come to the end of this topic and we've been able to see different classes and types of gear. See you in our next class.